Welcome to Charles Schwab Business Project, presented by Chandler Galloway, Tori Johnson, Denise Bell, and myself, Angela Ellis. We hope you enjoy. I'm going to start off by giving a brief history of Charles Schwab. The corporation has been an advocate for individual investors and financial prof professionals who serve them. At the age of 32, Charles Schwab set up his own stock brokerage company. He moved fast into the discount brokerage business, offering rates that were below full commission brokerage rates. Over the next 25 years, the company experienced strong growth fueled by customer focus, savvy investments in informational technology, and they both moved into online trading in 1996. Their mission was to always put their clients first. We now will have an external analysis of the Charles Schwab Company. Charles Schwab was the first ever broker to offer online brokerage such as E-Trade. As of now, there are no macro environmental changes that would have a negative impact on the company. They have been able to stay up to date with all of the new and up and coming technologies. There is a great positive outlook for the company and their customers for the up and coming years. Schwab is considered a global company throughout the world. With this company being such a high-tech company, competitors are all around trying to get one step ahead of Schwab. On the other hand, Schwab has done a great job at staying true to the company but being able to embrace change in order to stay ahead of all of their competitors. The Schwab company is serving in the financial services. It operates through investor and advertisement service segments. By doing what they do, Swab helps people build wealth. Wealth creation helps individuals and families achieve their potential. They turn aspiration into reality. It helps people control their future and improve prospects for future generations. Now we're going to move into the internal analysis and aspects of the Charles Schwab company. Um, Charles Schwab has used a tool called Fortified Forces within their company that was very instrumental. This is a tool that analyzes the effects of the customers and competitors around them on their company. You have your competitive rivalry, your threat of substitution, which would be products that were similar, you have supplier power, buyer power, and the threat of new entry, which would be new businesses entering the same market. Um, obviously, when you have the threat of new entry, you have competitors that are going to have similar technology. You want to be able to have the innovation and the research to be able to keep up with that. Um, you have buyers that have a very strong bargaining power that will drive prices down, which in return is also going to drive your profit down, and we do not want that. Um, so, so this is a very, very effective tool for Charles Schwab to use, and they have used this, and it has made them very competitive over the years. Charles Schwab is considered a very high-tech company, considering they are basically mainly used online. This company is majorly based upon the use of the internet, the technical use of this company is one that takes a lot of money to keep running, but is also held at a very high standard. With how fast technology is changing, it is important for the Swab company to stay up to date with all the latest trends in order to bring in the new and younger customers. This company is using more of their technology-based part of the company to target the younger generation for its online mobile use, such as an app. Whereas the older generation still want to use the local and sit down infrastructures of the company. This will bring us to our SWOT analysis of our internal factors. Um, this company has internal factors with strengths and weaknesses. One of the strengths is the high level of customer satisfaction. It is something that SWOT has been known for for many years. Um, their technical automation of activities with online capabilities. With the newer generation, um, they are more adapt and they are, their preference is to use online abilities, whereas an older generation normally wants to actually visit the location itself. 
Um, and of course, Charles Schwab is a very well-known brand. It's, they've been in business for 25 plus years and have always had a very good reputation for what they do. Um, some of their weaknesses, however, are that their company structure seems to work um, with the current business model. They need to, you know, get up with the times a little more. Um, and by that, they need to invest more in new technologies within their research and development to keep up with the newer technology that our young, younger generation is moving towards using. Um, they've not been extremely effective in merging with firms in their acquisitions that have a different work culture um, as far as their diversity goes and their global structure has, has gone. Um, and then there are the external factors, um, opportunities and threats. Um, their opportunities do come from new customers with their online internet channels. Um, this, is, this has been a very large focus for many companies, including Charles Schwab. Um, there has been an economic boost and an increase in younger consumers. Um, and so, as you can tell, this is something that most companies that are going global have to rely on. They have to um, focus some of their research and develop on this innovation. The threats would be changing consumer buying behavior from using online channels. It could also be a threat because you do have people of an older generation that still want to be able to go to the physical location and talk to their financial advisor in person. Um, and there is a shortage of skilled workers in certain areas as automation hits the manufacturing industry. Um, so that is something that they have to be aware of to be able to grow and earn profit. Great. Competitive advantage through functional strategies. Before the year 2000, the company was a huge success. The stock price of the company was appreciated much higher than Microsoft. However, after the 2000s, the company had a harder time. Online trading declined. Swap has used the technique of acquisition to put the company in competition to be used by advisors. The advisors would then use Swap for their clientele. Business level strategies within the industry environment. Like I stated in Chapter 4, Swap has used the technique of acquisition to better the company. I would encourage the company to find ways to stand out from the rest in order for people to see the differences and choose them rather than the competitors. I think Schwab should lower its cost structure because the company does not have a very big range of products. I believe the company will be successful if they say, if they seem to stay busy when all the other companies were failing. Anytime you are looking at a company and analyzing, you want to look at their financial ratios. These are very important, and these are normally found, um, you can find them through the NASDAQ, or you can, as I found this one, I found this one through the Charles Schwab website itself with its annual reporting, um, and that is where I located the numbers for this, such as a balance sheet, an income statement, and a cash flow statement. Um, many of these are important, and you have your key ones, which are liquidity, leverage, efficiency, profitability, um, you have your growth over years. The ones that I personally normally look at would be your liquidity ratio as well as a debt ratio. When you're looking at liquidity, um, this is the ratio that tells you what they can pay short term as far as their short term liability goes. Um, any company, you can see that they can pay their long term and that is all well and fine. But if they can't pay for what comes up in the meantime, that's going to destroy what they pay in the long term. So as you see, over the years, they did have an issue. Everything goes down. And then over the last few years, it has gone up. So they do seem to be in a very healthy state. Um, and that is more than likely due to the innovation and the technology advancements they've made in trying to pull in more of the younger generation for their customer clients. As I did research on the corporate social responsibilities, SWAB is dedicated to building and maintaining a dynamic organization and culture that reflects the individual strengths of every, per of every person who is a part of the company. 
Through diversity, they've gained a wider range of perspective, perspectives and experiences. They ensure people have the information they need to invest and save successfully. They give back to their communities in which they live and work. They want their 6, 16,000 employees to thrive, and they have employee research groups within the company to help with diverse communities so they can reach their career and investing goals. In conclusion, the Charles Schwab Company has been a very interesting business to learn about. Charles Schwab is a very structured company that we would recommend to any person that is looking for financial services that this company may offer. Thank you and we hope you enjoyed our presentation.